Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a foundation routine. I just wanted to switch it up and if this is something that you guys like and you want to see something different, um, full face, like get ready with me, anything like that, please just comment below and let me know. And if you have not subscribed, please do. And uh, if you like this video, as always, give it a thumbs up. So let's just get into it. I already put moisturizer on my face. I used the First A Beauty um, Ultra Repair Cream. I rather die. I use it all the time. And I'm still testing out the Smashbox Water Photo, uh, Photo Finish, Finish Primer Water. So I'm just going to spray that all, all over. And we're going to do the Becca Ultimate Coverage uh, Complex Cream in tan. It was a little lighter than me, but they didn't have my color, so I figured that I could just go ahead and use this and add a little to something if I needed to. It feels, when I put it on, I feel like it is a little, a little light for me. And then I just... Uh, spread that all over. All I did was put it on the back of my hand. I'm looking, probably going to get like a little like thing to be able to put it on just to make it easier because my hand is always, you can see like the color. Um, I'm going to be using M439. I love this brush. It's an amazing brush. I love how it just, it just makes it so easy to put the makeup foundation on and it's a lot quicker in my opinion than a beauty blender or beauty sponge whatever you, you may be using and I just feel like it cuts my time in half I discovered this a few months back and um I have completely fell in love with it. It's the only one, only brush or any other product that I use um, to apply my foundation. I do not do not use anything else lately. Right now, I am obsessed with it. Now, this foundation is very thick. I have noticed that it's very thick um I do want the full coverage full coverage to begin with and that is what I wanted sorry I'm pulling my mirror a little closer um it is what I wanted so I'm not complaining I just found that it's a little more it takes a little more work to uh to blend in when you're doing it so I feel like using this particular product does take me longer than say my MAC Pro Long foundation usually that takes me like two minutes tops and it's done literally done but this I just feel like it takes longer to blend out but it does have pretty good coverage It's still, now my freckles still show through the ones that I do have on my nose and stuff. So it still kind of allows me to have that natural look to my face. It doesn't look like I have like tons of caked on makeup. I just feel... I always feel like my forehead looks like I have way more on. This is why I'm like close up in the mirror. My, my, my little mirror right here. Because it just feels like it's so... So caked on. But... Yeah. That is... The finish, I'm probably, you know, it's, I'm going to say that this is probably a buildable 
because I feel like but you probably build it to make it even more full coverage to say it's full coverage it does not say it's buildable from medium to full coverage it does say that it's just literally when I was looking at it in my Sephora that it's full coverage and when I got swatched for it, I told the girl that I was looking for a full coverage. I did not want something that was medium because I already have something that's not like full, full coverage. You can build it to that. So I have the option to make it medium. So that is what I wanted. So I'm not going to say like I'm disappointed with it because I'm not. It's just one of those foundations that if you're in a rush, in my opinion, you're not going to want to use it. You're going to want to, you're going to want to, um, look for something different okay I forgot to put a thing down so I want to apologize ahead of time for any noise that you may be hearing as I set it down on my desk I was gonna lay something down to kind of like drown out the noise and I for forgot to grab something so I just want to say I'm sorry ahead of time but um okay so I did that and then I'm going to go ahead I'm just gonna go ahead and do my my concealer I'm just gonna do under my eyes just to um, cover up because I'm not really doing anything today I you know, be doing a few errands around around here so I'm not really trying to make myself I'm not going to my you know real special just a little errand so just a little something simple is my goal to have some coverage but not a whole all over like right in that all over the place something simple oh I'm sorry I'm using the NARS radiant creamy concealer in the medium to ginger that's it that is it and then I don't use a beauty, I don't have like the $20 beauty blender. I bought this from my local Target, I mean my local TJ Maxx, I'm sorry, as you can see it's starting. I literally only use this for two things. Like I was going to buy the $20 one, but when I was considering it, I was about to break down and buy it. I found the Morphe 439, the foundation brush that I used. And I decided that I wanted to try that before I went ahead and tried it. Because people were saying, there are dupes out there for the uh, beauty blender if you don't want to spend the money. And I was like, well, let me let me keep using my, my um, blender from TJ Maxx. It's like four bucks. And for what I use it for, I could not see spending the $20. But I would, would spend the 20 bucks if I felt like the brush that... The brush wasn't going to be good enough just because that's what I was generally using for um, my makeup. And then I bought the 439 and I fell in love. I decided that I did not need it just to do my under eyes and for one other thing. I use it when it comes to um, for my highlighting a little bit. So I decided that I didn't need it. So I keep, I just get these. My local TJ Maxx always seem to have them. They're only four bucks. And if you're just doing under your eye, I mean, they're pretty, they're, it's a little dense, but for the most part, it's really soft. It's squishy. It nearly, I'm going to say it doubles or triple, at least doubles in size. And it lasts me quite a while. Maybe um, I'm going to say that it probably lasts me a while because I am not using it for anything more than those um, for the two things for my concealer and my little bit of highlight. So that is why I'm going to say I think that that's why it lasts so long for me. And then... I'm going to use my Morphe 438 with my HD Makeup Forever HD uh, 
powder and this is to set underneath just so that nothing moves and it uh it's good for the day um i will i'm not gonna really bake bake i'm gonna let it sit for a little bit i um, don't want that you know humongous thing especially when i'm not doing the rest of underneath so i'm just gonna put enough on there to help it sit and then i'll leave it for a couple minutes like i say a couple minutes but more like probably just a couple seconds just enough to let it sit and not have any issues now i think i'm gonna i was going to because i don't have like as my my software did not have like the powder like to go like i don't always look for that extra color coverage but i do feel like when the foundation is slightly lighter i would have liked to have like a powder that's a little darker to be able to to set it so it doesn't look so light but um I think I'm going to be daring today, even though I feel like my chin, mostly my chin area. I don't know if it's me or if it's the lighting. So I keep looking over here because I have the mirror with the light right here just to help give me the um, better view. And, um... I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go a little bit, a little, 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 a little tiny bit. So I'm going to go with my E1 and I'm just going to dab it and tap off and tap while I wait for the other and then one more and that's all. I don't, I don't, um need a lot just because I do have a full foundation coverage on but I just want my face to I still just want everything to seem like it matches and it's not like I'm wearing something that just does not it's not made for me just want to feel like I match like my skin tone's normal you know makeup is not you know your skin tone it's not you it's not from your skin but I just wanted to make sure make sure I get everywhere so I'm just gonna tap what's used what's left on the brush I'm not gonna keep going back in to add more and more more and more coverage because I don't need it but I just want to use what's on the brush for excess to tap it in just and that way also it's setting making sure everything's like you know not because usually I just use I'll use my um the powder the HD powder but not today and then we're just gonna use this my it's a powder powder brush powder brush um I just bought a while ago I don't even remember where I got it to lightly just like dust off the excess. I mean, if I can find it, I'll link it below. But um, as of right now, I'm not even sure where I bought it from. Okay, and then we are going to move in with the bronzer, which I did not grab out. So let's grab the bronzer and my highlighter. Actually, I think I'm going to go with, no, we'll go with the highlighter. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm going to do this one today. Sorry. We're going to go with the Too Faced um, Dark Chocolate Soleil 
It's a uh, deep tans, deep tan matte bronzer. So we're gonna go with this today, um, just to get that little warm. Help it with the warm in back of my uh, skin, just a little natural. Just a little bit because I'm not going for anything crazy. I'm not looking to look like I just left the beach or something. Just want a little, you know, along the jawline. Oh, I'm sorry. And the brush that I'm using is the M527. If you guys can hear that water in the background, that's a t my my fish tank. And that's all the family's living room, but it's a little low on water. And I need to, I just need to add some more water. I didn't think about doing that before I added, did my film. I'm just doing it along my hairline just to get a little natural. Literally, I it's going into more like in my hair and then I just want to make sure I blend it I don't want to look like I just put a line of a, bre uh, a brown line something that's slightly darker than my skin tone across my face I didn't know what I was doing I think it's not even on the camera. There. Sometimes I just feel like this. It's a good bronzer, but I just sometimes I feel like. It doesn't show up because it's so close to my skin tone that it doesn't always show up. So I have to put quite a bit on. And when I'm going just for the day, like, around, I don't really want to put on a ton of bronzer. So, so that's a little annoying for me. Okay, so next we're going to, which I'm excited because I waited a long time for this. And I did post it up on my Instagram if you follow me. The Urban Decay Gwen Stefani, her blush palette. I, for some reason, I'm not sure why it took so long to get this. I wanted it, but I just, I waited and I waited and waited and I had to wait forever. But today, and this is my first time using it. Um, today we're going to go with Easy. And we're going to tap off the excess and just on the apples of the cheek now, I don't know if you guys can see the pigment of it What I've noticed about um, Urban Decay, they are very pigmented. Their blushes are extremely pigmented. It does not take much at all to, to, to put on. As you see, I did a couple swipes per um, cheek, uh, for one swipe per cheek. So it took me two swipes instead of having to really put it in there. I don't really like get in there, get in there, just a little bit, and that's it. And the brush that I used was the E4. I love this brush for, for my blush. I just feel, this is so easy to put on. It goes on so easy. I don't, I'm not taking a ton of product to do it. Okay. I'm going to blend it a little bit so it's not. 
And then my last but not least for the face is my, I'm going to do the Becca, love these highlighters. And I'm going to do Champagne Pop. I was going to go with like a rose gold or something, but I figured that this would be a pretty little switch up. It kind of matches my with my eyes a little bit. Um, and then we're going to go with the five, M501. And um, I'm just going to lightly, I'm not looking for a humongous highlight, tap off the excess and just do a little bit. The camera's picking it up. Yep, just a little bit. Just to give a little bit of a highlight. can see it now put a little bit more on just so you guys could really see it and I just put a little bit like but I lose all any access just to bring it in doesn't always get don't know if it always gets there but okay so here's the other thing that I was saying that I do so I take my beauty blender my, my blending sponge and I just tap it on top of my highlight to just kind of push it into the skin more so it looks a little more natural instead of looking like something that I just just like sat on my face and then that is all I do for my face I don't do anything else um I will pick like a lip to put on but today I'm going to go very nude just because I mean it's I think that the rest of my face is staying a lot, and like I said, it's natural. I've not picked out it, but the color that I would probably go with is going to be... I'm going to go with probably um, Velvet Teddy or like Persistence. Just something simple. Yeah, if I could find it, because I'm, you know... Here's Persistence. It's, I gotta reorganize my drawers. And that is it. That is my video. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.